Norway, land of breathtaking natural beauty, a country with pronounced policies of environmental stewardship. At least, that's how it appears on the surface. Norway is also headquarters of the multi-billion dollar global salmon farming industry, including the world's two largest producers of farmed salmon, Cermak, whose largest shareholder is the Norwegian government, and Marine Harvest. These firms are leaving a trail of environmental, socio-economic, and cultural problems around the world. Fish farms are killing off wild salmon. What gives them the right to destroy livelihoods in countries far away? These Norwegian giants have set up shop along some of the most treasured coastlines on the planet, from the locks of Scotland, to the fjords of Chile, to the inlets of Canada's British Columbia. And while local and indigenous communities are left to deal with the environmental costs, the profits from these fish farms are exported out of those countries and straight into the pockets of distant shareholders. The shareholders should know that their business is having a great impact on our Chilean environment. It's not sustainable. That is why I would like to see the, the, the salmon farms taken out to the sea where they cannot be controlled and put on the coast or on land where they can be controlled. Despite sound research published in leading scientific journals such as Science and Nature, linking open cage salmon farms to major environmental problems, industry representatives continue cultivating confusion and controversy. If the fish farmers want to uh, play the same game the cigarette manufacturers did for many years and live in denial, they're welcome to it, but it's not going to give rise to any solutions. These papers are, are peer-reviewed, highly respected journal papers, and they're all saying, look, it, we're doing something wrong there. Global outbreaks of parasites and disease, like sea lice, and the deadly infectious salmon anemia have decimated the Chilean industry and continue to affect wild salmon in Canada and wild sea trout in Ireland and Scotland. The industry is depleting other wild fish stocks around the world too. It can take up to five kilos of healthy, edible wild fish and Antarctic krill to produce just one kilo of farm salmon. The fish meat industry competes with human for this fish. Grinding the, the fish to for fish meal amounts to stealing, stealing good food out of their mouth to feed them into salmon, which are then a, a luxury item that only people in a rich country can afford. How long can we keep raping the seas of these white fish to produce food, to produce salmon? I don't think it's sustainable. All of these issues have led to an undeniable tipping point, and the pressure is now on the industry to either continue repeating the same mistakes of the past or chart a new course to a more sustainable future. <laughs>